He's a name synonymous with triumphs and tales of glory. A lethal striker who won six Premier League titles and was at the wheel at Old Trafford for close to four years. The world remembers him for taking Manchester United to the promised land. Ole Gunnar Solsha, welcome to Weon. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was a nice introduction. Ole, this is your first visit to India and we have been seeing pictures of the enthusiastic response you have received. How have you enjoyed this experience? Oh, it's been brilliant, you know, the, just to, to be able to uh, interact with the fans uh, and to, to feel their welcome, uh, to feel their, uh, their love for Man United. And uh, it's, it's been special. I've really enjoyed the, the couple of days I've been so far. Uh, there have been many false dawns, if I may call it that, where it felt like United have turned a corner. I remember you saying once that winning a trophy doesn't mean that you are back. How do you quantify progress at a club as big as Manchester United, especially now with Jim Ratcliffe coming on board? Yeah, you know, I, I still stand by that. Uh, you know, you can win uh, a cup run, you can win so, uh, a cup, but it's, it, that is a fantastic, don't underestimate winning a cup. That's, it's great, you know, Carabao Cup, uh, Europa League, FA Cup, they're, they're big trophies and they're important trophies, but the progress will be shown and the, the quality of the squad and the quality of the ga game is shown in the league so if you get always get uh, in and around the top teams get first second third that's i think that's where we have to end up to we cannot be happy with uh, with just just some tro uh, cup runs we need we need to challenge for the league uh, Ten Hag said that he inherited a not good culture at United. We have seen the acrimonious departure of Cristiano Ronaldo. Jadon Sancho is at loggerheads with Ten Hag. You have played under Alex Ferguson. Is it disappointing to hear such a comment? You know, it's it's up to the players to uh, to uh, give their best every single day, and uh, I know most of them and the the, the top top lads. Uh, I think every manager in and around the world uh, would always uh, want. Uh, to have the, the top, top, top culture and, you know, Manchester United, they bring young players through. I, I'm sure the, the culture is, is improving. Uh, and, but w when the times are tough, uh, sometimes, unfortunately, um, uh, we, 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 we can see the, the lack of professionality at, at times. But, uh, you know, when I played, we, we talk about that we were such a, a fantastic team in the 90s. You know, we, we weren't just perfect either. We also had uh, had some, some bad moments. We had some seasons that we didn't win, but then it's bouncing back and uh, I'm sure the Man United players will. The last decade has been painful for United fans, especially with the success Manchester City and Liverpool have had. Jurgen Klopp is moving on at the end of the season. And I'm not asking you this as a Manchester United legend. But as someone invested in football, what have you admired about Klopp during your time in the Premier League? Hey, bad timing to be manager when Jurgen Klopp and Pep Guardiola are there. But uh, getting second and third, I think, uh, uh, just shows that we we made progress and we had a good uh, thing going. Because Jurgen, the way he's uh, he's managed Man United, uh, sorry, uh, managed <laughs> Liverpool, uh, has been exceptional. He, he came in with a clear idea got time because it took time before he, he got successful and that's that's a quality of the club as well to give him uh, all the belief and the trust that you, you can do this and uh, what what a manager and um, of course it's it's going to be a miss for everyone uh, in football hopefully he'll he'll come back again in some other capacity uh, in in some other club sorry <laughs> 